This is the final word for Wisdom.com, fueled by Kookaburra Cricket. I'm Adam Collins. We've got a special autumnal uh, version of the segment today. I've got with me Mark Church. We're here at the Oval. Normally you would hear Church here commentating from the People's Ground. Surrey's magnificent championship victory in Division 1 this year. But you're doing something completely different through your autumn. You're running between the Oval and Lords 200 times for pancreatic cancer. Give a bit of background to this amazing project you're involved in. Well, I lost my dad to pancreatic cancer uh, last summer and seeing what dad went through was pretty horrific, to be honest with you. Um, and dad loved his cricket like I do. Um, and my initial idea was I was going to run to every county ground but that was a logistical nightmare and needed a backup team of millions so it was my mum that came up with the idea she said dad loved Lords you love the Oval two of his favourite grounds how far is it between the two so we worked out it was five miles uh, and then did some ridiculous maths where, <laughs> where I came up with cricket numbers like 200 uh, which is a thousand miles so I'm doing it over 50 days uh, day 15 today when you've kindly come to see us um, and this will be this afternoon will be run 56. So run 56 do the maths on that so you've been running for 15 days non-stop how's your body holding up? Yeah it's okay my left knee is a bit funny at the moment but I'm just sort of gritting my teeth and getting through it it's quite interesting to see which parts of my body are falling apart at what times of the run but um, I've been so lucky with the support I've had that you know everybody's been amazing and um, I, it, can I be I don't really know what I'm doing but I'm just getting on with it you know people keep saying to me hey, how big's your backup team eh, there's me uh, what's your nutrition plan like well peanut butter on toast in the morning bit of peanut butter on toast at lunchtime and a meal in the evening but so far so good and and you know I'm doing it for pancreatic cancer research fund I met Maggie Blanks is the chief executive of the charity uh, I explained to her what I wanted to do I, I'm just one of these people I wanted to understand what had happened to dad and I, I'm I, you know I'd love to be able to stand here with you Mr Collins and go I'd love to find the cure for it um, we're not going to do that uh, but the thing with pancreatic cancer is it's it's the, probably the, the, the cancer that the the least amount of money and research is put into and what Maggie's done is unbelievable so if I can raise a bit of profile and a bit of money for some research so that hopefully in a few years time GPs would have a test that might be able to to catch it early and give people a chance then I'd be absolutely delighted. It's a remarkable thing what you're doing Churchy. I'm going to plug this a few times but first and foremost tell them now in the middle of the video how right. they can donate because we're going to tag you in and I urge you to, to throw a few bucks this bloke's way he's doing a remarkable thing. Well uh, the best way you can follow me on Twitter at back and across which is good fun because there's various photos of me falling apart in London on the pavements of London and also the simplest way if you did want to donate or get any more information is just to google uh, Mark Church 200 runs and my just giving page will come up that way. You've had plenty of support from the Surrey Cricket Club as well some of the players have been running around London with you a couple this afternoon as well. Yeah they've been unbelievable so uh, Mark Stone and Scott Borthwick have already run with me I'm Aaron Haranath uh, Ryan Patel's running with me this afternoon. Ollie Pope and Rory Burns came to wave me off before they jump on a plane to go to Sri Lanka. Um, and just the support from everybody has, has, has just been amazing. What sort of pace are they keeping relative to you? Given you're now the battle-hardened no. athlete, how are they going trying to keep up with you? I, I think they're slowing down for me as much as anything. But we're, we're sort of doing around about nine minute miles which isn't too bad so so we're looking between sort of 45 and 50 minutes for for one leg quick turnaround bit of a drink and then straight back again break at lunchtime and then we go again in the afternoon yeah break that down for people who are watching at home so how long are you taking between your runs and what sort of hours sleep are you logging a night so well i i'm falling asleep whenever i sit down at the moment um but i, I tend to leave at 9 30 uh, and it, the first two there and back, there to Lords and back, normally done and dusted by about 11.30 and then go again at one and fingers crossed done by about 2.45 and then, well the rest of the afternoon seems to be ice packs are my best friend at the moment, uh, a bit of swimming, trying to get their legs moving again, eat and then literally by nine o'clock I am gone. Uh, do you listen to music? Do you run no. without, without company? How, how do you find the best way of staying no, in the I've zone? I've never listened to music ever. I've never had headphones in so I just run. I just run and, and I think the thing is obviously being in London um, you have to keep your wits about you. I, I'm learning the art of side. My sidestep now is up there with Brian O'Driscoll's <laughs> I tell you. Um, it, uh, you know pedestrian, cyclist and this thing I keep telling to everybody the thing on mobile phones now where people don't put them to their ear they, they look at them as they're walking along and they never look up and when they do it's a bit late and you're dudging around them so um, that always adds a little bit of time on to, to things but yeah it, as I say we've been blessed with the weather so far we're going till December the 4th 
uh, fingers crossed we get there. After what was a marvellous season for you behind the mic for the VVC during Surrey's Championship, what you're doing through Autumn is inspirational, Churchy. Thanks so much for doing it. And again, how do people get on to make a donation to this really important cause? Yeah, once again, if you follow me on at Back and Across or if you just Google Mark Church 200 runs um, and any support would just be gratefully received. This is the final word for wisdom.com, fueled by Crooker Bar Cricket. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, Adam, for coming. I really appreciate it. Yeah, when I, uh, when I play my back foot cover drives, I like to be uh, nice and deep in the crease and, and obviously transferring most of my weight, maybe about 90% of my weight, onto my back foot. Uh, but ultimately, I still need the bat coming through nice and straight. Uh, we're not really looking for like a 45 degree angle. We want it to be coming through nice and straight. So it's still, uh, you have the biggest chance of being able to hit the ball and uh, hopefully, you know, it races through the covers before.